Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's um, Monday haul video is going to be just a few things, not very many at all, that I um, ordered off of Ulta. And then also a couple things that I ordered off of the website called Tent Studio. Anyway, um, welcome to my channel. If you're new on Mondays, I usually do hauls. And then on Thursdays, I do like um, reviews or empties or maybe some of my favorite things, that type. Also, this upcoming year, I'm going to be adding in some vlog videos, so be looking for those. So anyway, let's get started with what I ordered off of Tenth Studio. Um, if you watch a YouTuber um, called Beauty by Rosita, um, she is a makeup artist who lives in New York, I do believe, and she has curated her own makeup brush, and she did this with Temp Studio, and if you use Rosita's mic, M-I-C, Rosita's mic, you'll get 40% off your order. Was it 40? I think it was 40. Anyway, what it is basically is a makeup brush, and it is a... Um, Whoa, that kind of brush. Um, a blending brush, a blending brush. I'm gonna reach over here and get the one that I used this morning. Looks like this right here. Um, it is a natural hair, goat haired brush, and it has a little bit of a shorter um, handle, and it's in kind of like a fuchsia type pink color or bubblegum pink, I guess. And it is this right here. They were. I'm a horrible person, horrible, horrible YouTuber here. I need, I should have had all of this. I've been watching videos on how to do, you know, good videos, have good quality content. And one of the things that they talk about is having all of your information already ready for your viewers, um, price, where you can get it, that kind of stuff. Anyway, it was around $22 and then I got 40% off of it. Anyway, I ordered two of those. They came in pretty quickly because if, I'm not mistaken, again, because I, I didn't do my homework properly, is that they came from Hong Kong. So I got mine fairly quickly, I felt. And this is what it looks like here. And I'll show you how it was packaged. Whoops. It came in a little um, plastic bag like this. And um, it says two eyeshadow brushes. And they were both packaged like this here, kind of similar to the way that um, Beautylish packages their items. So they were packaged in a really, really pretty and nice and neat. And it says curated by Tenth Studio. And then, um, of course, it was just, you know, in another plastic bag inside of here. Let me go ahead and open that. I mean, they're, they're wrapped up really, 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 really good. Very good. And then it had, you know, another little plastic sleeve also. So I did use it this morning, and um, supposedly she developed this brush to really help us girls that are having a hard time with blending. And it's supposed to be a miracle worker and just, you know, blend everything just so nicely. Um, did I find it? any better than any of my other crease blending brushes that I have? No. But is it a nice um, blending brush? Sure. Um, yes, it was reasonably priced, especially with the discount. And I think it was free shipping also. So um, I say that if you already have some blending brushes that you like, you don't need to go out and buy this. If you're in the market for a new blending brush, you might give this a try. Okay, the next thing I have is from um, Ulta, and I still had some um, points at Ulta, enough points to convert into cash value that I was able to purchase these next two items, and it ended up only having to pay 44 cents, and I got two things, but they're, they're good things. They're good. Anyway, we're going to talk about this right here. This is from Derma E. This is the overnight peel with alpha hydroxy acids. And this is resurfaces to reveal fresher, younger looking skin with nighttime use. And you're supposed to use this a couple times a week. And you put it on fresh, clean skin. 
and then just leave it on overnight and then when you get up in the morning you're to rinse it off or you can wash your face whatever the case may be and it's supposed to help with exfoliation which we all know that anything with alpha, alpha hydroxy acids or um, retinol anything that's a chemical is going to help exfoliate the skin and it's just in a bottle like this and it has a little pump on it so i haven't used it i just got it and it says here that it's for all skin types and it was a two fluid ounce and i do believe it was ten dollars ten or fifteen dollars so bad i'll put it up here the price of it i should have, knew, I should have had all this already ready to go Ugh. Anyway, okay, the next item that I got, which is the star of this whole haul, and I really debated about whether or not I wanted this palette. And um, I wasn't going to get it because there's so many mixed reviews on it. And then I was at Sephora and I actually swatched it. And I really liked the feel of the shadows. I thought they felt very smooth in texture and um, buttery and felt like the pigmentation was very good. I felt like this palette, the eyeshadows in this palette are better than the eyeshadows in some of the other palettes that this company puts out. And I have had some of those eyeshadow palettes and have actually sold them, didn't really care for them. So without further ado, it is the Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay. Yeah, I did. I went ahead and got it. Wasn't going to. Then, like I said, I've seen reviews on it. I've seen some people that I really like to watch do a tutorial on it and made it look so pretty. And then I swatched it. And then I heard that she's coming out with some blushes that are supposed to correspond with the eyeshadow eyeshadows in this palette. And then she's also coming out with some lipsticks. So I thought, well, I want, I want all of it. I want all of it. So anyway, so it came with this little sample pack of lipsticks, which I haven't opened up yet. But of course it has a beautiful red in it. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's called 714 or 714. And it is a, um, what does that say? Something matte, mega matte. Yeah, a Mega Matte, and then a Rock Stre rock Steady, which is going to be a cream, which is kind of like a, a burgundy red. And then the other color that I like on here is called Ex-Girlfriend, and it's a, um, a sheen, and it's kind of like a, um, a neutral color. I don't know if I'll be able to get these up there where you can see the colors of them, but oh, they're so pretty. I cannot wait to try them and I was reading the back of this packet before I started filming this and it says that from the way I'm reading it that this these colors this formulation this line the Gwen Stefani is going to be exclusive to UrbanDecay.com and their freestanding stores so if I'm understanding this right they're not going to be in Ulta or in Sephora with the lipstick so there you go anyway so here is the actual eyeshadow palette, which I'm sure you have seen this. It's been around YouTube for a little while now, and um, it's really pretty. It's what I'm wearing on my little eyeballs today, my little eyelids, and I just think it's really, really pretty. I don't regret purchasing it. I like the way that it opens so it can lay flat on my vanity instead of being stuck up like that. Um... I don't know for travel if you would be able to use the mirror. Yeah, it stands up. All right, there's the mirror. And then here are the beautiful, absolutely beautiful colors in here. There is only one that to me is a little disappointing. And I really, really wish that they would have put a different color in that spot. And that's this one right here. That one is called Pop. And the reason why I don't like it is it's very chunky glittery and it does not swatch very good and I don't think it's going to transfer onto the eyelid very good. I probably would have to use 
maybe some glitter glue to get this to really work on my eye. I don't know. And I may be completely wrong. I may get use this tomorrow and think it's the greatest thing in the whole entire world. But there it is swatched. But from just looking at it, that is the only color that I have seen that I didn't really care for. And that was just because it has a lot of a lot of chunky, really a lot of glitter in it, which you know when you're 40 plus years sometimes glitter is not your friend unfortunately anyway but it is really pretty um, I have this color here which is called blonde all over my eyelid and then I have the color danger right here in the crease and then I have the color Serious here in the outer V, and then I have the color bath water on the lid as a little bit of little sparkle, shiny goodness. And let me just shut my eyes and let you look. Let's see what you think. Anyway, I thought it was pretty. I'll wear it again tomorrow, and I may be um, filming my empties video tomorrow. That will go up on Thursday, hopefully, if all goes well. Um, if you watched my What I Got for Christmas video, your new camera, and me and this camera are not getting along at all. We hate each other. And But by golly, I'm going to whip it into shape, and I'm going to be the boss of this stupid camera, whether or not it kills me. I stay up. My husband, he's like, my God, he goes, you are staying up till." 12 o'clock at night watching videos on how to operate that camera. He goes, are you sure this is something that you really, really want to keep? He goes, you need to decide if it is before it's too late to take it back. I'm like, no, I'm going to learn how to operate this camera and be done with it because I watch videos on you know what other people use. I watch videos on how to improve your channel and then I've been watching videos on how to operate this camera. <sighs> all for you. I do it all for you. <laughs> anyway, so that is it for this haul video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know in the comments below maybe some of the items that you have recently purchased. And, um, or even let me know in the comment below maybe what kind of video, what kind of content you would like to see on my channel this upcoming year. And that is it for this week's haul video. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you on Thursday.